This document is an order issued by a circuit court judge in Volusia County, Florida, regarding a motion filed by the defendant, Othel Torian Resch Wallace, to correct a sentencing error. The judge reviewed the motion, the court file, and the relevant legal principles before making a decision. The defendant was initially charged with attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer. However, after a jury trial, the defendant was found guilty of the lesser offense of manslaughter with a firearm. The defendant was sentenced to 30 years in prison for this conviction. In the motion, the defendant raised two main claims. First, the defendant argued that his sentence for manslaughter was illegal because the offense was improperly reclassified from a second-degree felony to a first-degree felony based on the jury's finding regarding a firearm. Second, the defendant claimed that the trial court applied the wrong standard of proof in considering his presentation of mitigation for a downward departure in sentencing. The judge found the defendant's arguments to be without merit. The judge cited legal precedent to support the reclassification of the offense to a first-degree felony when a firearm is used, even if it is not an element of the original offense. The judge also noted that the trial court had considered all evidence presented and had not found sufficient facts to support a legal basis for a downward departure in sentencing. As a result, the judge denied the defendant's motion to correct the sentencing error. The order was issued on the lay day of March 2024 in Volusia County, Florida. Copies of the order were sent to the defendant, the defendant's attorney, and the office of the state attorney. The defendant, Othel Torian Resch Wallace, understands that he will not be freed because he was convicted of manslaughter with a firearm and sentenced to 30 years in prison. His lawyer, Craig Weissenhunt, tried to argue for a lesser sentencing, known as a downward departure, by presenting evidence in support of mitigating factors. However, the trial court found that there were not enough facts to support a legal basis for a downward departure. Essentially, the court did not believe that a lesser sentence was warranted based on the evidence presented. This is why the defendant's motion to correct the sentencing error was denied. It appears that Y2K is not accurately portraying the true situation. In reality, Othel Wallace is facing a 30-year prison sentence. If there was a genuine chance to secure his release through an appeal, his legal team wouldn't have pursued this motion. Understanding the facts is crucial, as knowledge empowers informed decisions.